What's up, everybody? Tony Beats Guy here. We got a lot of cool info coming out today. If you didn't check out the first video, the first video was on tables and such. So if you want to check that out, make sure you do. I'll put a card on the screen so you can check it out or go to the must-see video playlist that's on my channel. But here we go. Let's get right into this. They have a new trailer coming out. We'll, we'll look at that. But before we get into that trailer, let's read this little snippet here so we can give you guys some sort of in-depth info before we get into this just kind of like a little summary paragraph of what we're about to watch here so the 2k community is the most creative group of fans there is and our goal is to always push the envelope to transform your imagination into reality in the smoothest way possible for wd2k17 we're stepping it up with new features and options and can't wait to get them in your hands watch the trailer above and then get reading so they're telling us to watch the trailer above first but Starting with Create a Superstar, we have an all new body hair functionality to complement the several all new hairstyles and facial hairs we've been adding this year. So that's cool because last year, if you want to add chest hair, I would have to actually get a paint tool, download one or whatever, then upload it and then do it. So it's all the hair you can handle. Skin effects add more characteristics to your character with wrinkles, blemishes, scars, burns, marks, bags under eyes, and even more. Why would you want bags under your eyes? I mean, some people have them. I have them sometimes. Wrinkles, don't want those. Don't want to look like Triple H. Ugh. Blemishes, scars, burns, marks, don't want it. Dental enthusiasts can now customize teeth in various colors, yellow fangs, even missing choppers for your mouth that Mick Foley would approve of. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with the teeth. Um, continuing on, once you have your superstar looking just right, you can make a championship worthy of them. Creators can now select normal map textures for the strap. In layman's term, this means you can have textures like metal, wood, reptile skin with 3D depth rather than just a flat image. So you can have a metal championship belt that pops out, wood that pops out. It's going to look cool. Reptile skin? Aww, shucky duck. We need to make the Fruit Loop belt. I probably have it in the game. I don't know. To show all to the world, the highlight reel returns. At any time, you can pause the game and review the footage of the in-ring that just took place. Boom. And I think it was a minute. We, we said it was going to be a minute. They don't say it's going to be a minute or not here, but I'm just guessing it's a minute. Choose, a M, choose a camera angle, clip out what you want from the footage, and export it as a video. You can play it in slow motion as well as really show off your details of the particularly intense scene. So anytime you can do that. Then continuing on, we have Highlight Reel works great for creating videos to post online. You can also be incorporated into custom Titantron videos and create a show opening videos. Cut together a variety of in-ring footage, add new animation backgrounds and logos, select from a wide variety of music, and you'll have a feel of a genuine Titantron or show opening. So this year you can create Titantrons or show opening. So like, if we want to make our own custom Monday Night Raw intro, we can do it in this game. Create a show includes new visual features and in-rings like Black and white, sepia, and your favorite bad VHS to get that old sports feeling entertainment that fans used to trade tapes. So if you want black and white, sepia, and VHS, I guess if you want to have that tape, we'll see what we do. We can make an ECW type stuff, old ECW. I tried to do that once, and uh, it didn't work out so well. I mean, I actually took some footage, recorded it through a VHS, and then played it back and uploaded it. And it, it turned out all right, but... It's just so much work. Select from the variety of referee clothing options. Yes, 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 yes. And audio commentary styles tailored to Raw, SmackDown, and more. Yes. And your universe will feel more like a WWE caliber show. More on that down the line as we talk universe mode. Lastly, create an arena. We have a small but helpful change. This should help creators tweak even the finest details. All three turn vocal pads on the post can now be tweaked on different individual colors. Yes, yes, yes. We have every pad in the ring. Want to have every pad in the ring different color? Go for it. Woo! Maybe you want to pattern them after a national flag. Red, white, and blue pads are option as well. That's it for today. And now let's get right into the trailer. So here we go. I'll pause that at times that I see some cool stuff dropping in here, but... We're going to go right into this. So, Creation Suite. And they do a cool thing by covering up a lot of cool stuff here. Paul Heyman. So, first off, we're looking at Create a Superstar here. Um, we have some depth here to this logo. Looks like it pops out. Shiny, cool stuff. We'll get more into that. Smack Talks will be happy with this. <laughs> all right. So, we have body types. Uh, male, you get all this cool body types. 
You got like Samoa Joe to Skinny McGee. See, there's not very many skinny guys here, but continue on here. All right, let's look at all the hair here. I don't think that anything looks too different. Um, it looks like we have Rhino slash early Bo Dallas. We have this stupid haircut that I always put on my guy. We have George Costanza. No, Legion of Doom. Um, continue on here. There's more Mohawk. And this cool one. This cool. Uh, let's continue. Bald. All these hairstyles. So just get a, a little look at all these. And then we have beards. We have these goatees, which are cool. That one's new, I think, this year. I think that one's new as well. Uh, Big pop of pump. Holler if you hear me. Um, do I see mine on here? Not really, but I'm sure I can create it by adding more. Mine's gets kind of like the Chris Danker one right there. Uh, go on with goatees. Trying to pause it so we can see if we see any more here. All right, so we see we have facial hair, mustache, goatee, sideburns, and hair. So you can just, you know, I can create mine because I have the stubble here and I have it here and it goes all the way there. So I have like a beard, but it's like a five o'clock shadow type beard. So simple enough to do that. Did it before. We can do it now. So here's some costumes. Um, cool thing is that you got generic here. So it starts out white as far as the costume goes. So there's no pattern on the costume right away, which is kind of cool. So continuing on, we see that gorilla costume is back, I think, is what I noticed right there. Penguin costume. So it's all white, starting out. Giant Gonzalez? Really? All right, there's all the cool kick pads, the pointed cheek shoes, these ones that I never understood why anybody would wear them. I guess a girl at Ultimate Warrior. Uh, go back just a second. If I can pause it again. Material, color, and logos. You can change all the colors, the material, and logos. So you do that after the fact. They don't have the predetermined colors anymore, which is kind of sad because I kind of like Because sometimes if you don't have that much creativity in your mind, you're just uh, using default, but now you don't. So let's continue. So here's the colors. You get the color picker again. You get the RGB if you want. So you get that exact color you want. Um, pretty neat. And then here you have materials that you can choose. We had some last year. We have matte. Vinyl, satin, metallic, rubber, velour, plastic, pearl, leather, organza. I don't know what that is. I also don't know what velour is, but it's just a cool design. So you can see what they do. And they looks like finally they change in real time. Before they did not change in real time. Um, I'm hoping it changes in real time. Uh, they didn't show it. And then it makes it seem like it changed in real time. Before you'd have to select it and then it would take a second to load. Um... And here we have some face paints. We have boom, 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 boom. Let's just take a look at some of them. Uh, there's Jeff Hardy. Oh, Jeff Hardy's in the game. Jeff Hardy's in the game. Jeff Hardy. I'm going to title that video. Jeff Hardy's face paint is in the game. Jeff Hardy in WD2K17 creation suite. Hells yeah. All right, let's just go through some of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why you go so fast? Ah, I can't even keep up with this. We're trying. I know this is a longer video. All right. We have some more, some more, some cool, some skull ones. I like it. Clowns, scary clowns. Is that, is that Crazy Steve? Crazy Steve and Jeff Hardy are both in the game? I don't know what that is. Is that a face on your face? Another one, another one, another one, another one. I need DJ Khaled here. Another one. Hey, that's like that Snapchat filter. And we have some more, some more, some cool ones. Nothing too exciting. There's a cool snake one, a tiger. Tony the Tiger is coming this year. Tony the Tiger is going to come in 2K17. No, I'm just kidding. Let's continue on here. I mean, there's a lot of face paints that I can't even look at here. Um, I mean, you see them, but we'll end it here. So you have the colors for a second and third, like always. Change them how you want them. Pick the RGB, all that fun stuff. And now we have the part placement, which is just a logo that they're going to show us real quick. Um, if I can go back, it's really hard to, there it is. So we have some custom mail designs here. Boom, 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 boom. There's a ninja star. Throw it on there. Rotate it. Change it. Add some shadow opacity. There's some cool stuff. I love the shadow. Drop shadow. Drop, drop, drop shadow is cool. Then you can change that too to whatever you want. So if you want it to be pearl, vinyl, whatever. Now we're going to look at custom move set. There's nothing really crazy in this that I really noticed. Uh, the big thing I will talk about here is weight detection is cool crowd taunt and opponent taunt um crowd taunt is for taunting the crowd and opponent taunt is taunting your opponent obviously duh get it everybody knows and uh weight detection i think is 
I don't know if that was in last year. I can't remember. If you guys know, let me know. I just didn't get too deep into it if there was weight detection, but um, we'll see. They don't really go into it. So here's some of the new moves we have. Off Funk it, Alabama Slam Airplane, Spin 1 and 2, Air Raid Sirens, 630 Centon, 450 Splash, 1962, 24 Karat Uppercut, 316 Luthaz Splash Press, uh, 450 Achilles Tendon Lock. I'm going to just try and Alabama Slam Face Buster, Alley Coop, Alley Cop, Alley Cop, Alley Cop. I don't know what those are. Maybe I'm just missing out on that. Uh, but here we go. We're seeing finishers, Backpack, Face Buster, Tilt the World, DDT, DDT, and there you go. So continuing on here. There's the finish. Awesome. Can't wait to use that online. Sweet stuff. Here's the backpack, back thing, whatever it was called. Not too much detail on that. So Create Arena, they have a lot of cool stuff here. Um, they talked about how you can change um, some cool stuff here that they will show off. Um, let's go back for a second. But for creating arena, they talked about, um, where is it off? Where is it off? Create a show. Oh, it's create a show, not create an arena. Well, you create the arena and then you create the show. But back here, back to creating arena. You see, there's a lot of new stuff here. It looks like you can have a king of the ring over there. Uh, you, you, you could have this stuff in the past, but there's a bunch of new features and we're going to try and pause it here on the arenas. If Armageddon 203 backlash one and three. Bad Blood 04, Capital Punishment 2011, ECW Arena. I always try to create the ECW Arena. Extreme Rules 11. Um, did I miss it? Did I pass it up? Trying to get all the stuff here. There you go. Um, now I have Extreme Rules 14, Great American Bash 08, Hell in the Cell 11, In Your House, In Your ha -ha House 14. Judgment Day, Judgment Day 04 and 5, Money in the Bank 13, Nine Champions 13, No Mercy 05, No Way Out 01, NXT 14, TakeOver Brooklyn, woo, love it, want some more of it. Then we have the original, which is that one that they always used to give us, um, Over the Edge 98, Over the Limit 11, Payback 14, Raw 2, Raw 6, which you can see just a little bit of difference on that, uh, Raw 14, Raw 98, which is cool. Royal Rumble 01, Royal Rumble 04, Royal Rumble 11, SmackDown, The Fist is back. And now we have for outdoor arenas, we can change the time of day, which is a feature that we've been wanting because we have matches that take place at WrestleMania outdoors, but we could never change the day. So we have crowd type, venue size, stage design as always, and then we have... Um, the type of time of day. So you can have day, as you see, the sun's out, evening, and then you can have nighttime as well. They just don't show nighttime. Well, we're only 37 seconds into this video. All right, here's some of the stuff. There's a bike, a four-wheeler, the Wyatt's chair, car, LEDs, fun stuff. Continue on here. There's nothing new. Those things are pretty cool. I put them all over my arena. Uh, Money in the Bank car with the ladder. Hearst, I think, is over here somewhere. Gravestones, gargoyle. Palm trees. If you want to make that FCW arena, go for it. Drum set. There's the hearse. Or not. Oh, we could make the London Raw London with the phone booth. I love it. Coffin. And now we're looking at them placing down some stuff. I don't think there's anything new here. You could just show where you can put it. So we have the telephone, the car, Raw London Raw, or whatever you want to call it. And now here's create a video. At any time during it, you could pause, go to highlight reel, and, uh, Check it out. What's cool about the pause menu is I, I we, they didn't really talk about this. Um, but it now shows their stats, how their health is, and their stuff. So you can see their little stats and how they're doing. So uh, at any time, you can go to Highlight Reel if you want. Check it out. Trim the video, start point, back point, uh, all that fun stuff. They cover it up. I don't know why they cover it up. Cover up all the best parts of the, the Highlight Reel. But so you can pause it, go back. And uh, then it'll show you, you can make your, your new video, trim the menu. All right. So what I'm thinking here, you save this video, right? Once you're done with that, you can add it into the new video here. And uh, you got logo cutscene or video cutscene, logo animation, transition and filters. Pretty simple stuff to do here. Simple video editing for anyone that can do it. They've done it in the past. You can do it in this one. 
Edit, copy, paste, all that fun stuff. Finisher, finisher, finish, in-ring finisher, ringside finisher, signature, table. So you save it all here, and then you got your videos, and you can put them together for your Titantron and highlight videos if you want. There it is, just dropping vids in, dropping logos, dropping animations, dropping colors, dropping effects, all that sweet stuff. Let's, I mean, I can go back, but it's really not going to, you just have sepia, black and white, mint, violet, orange, blah, 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 then yeah, it's not, it's not that crazy. So making an entrance video, you see the entrance video up there, pretty cool stuff, love the entrance video. Boom, watching him walk out to the ring and now create an entrance. We have... Template, motion, title motion, entrance, titantron, ribbon, header, wall, banner, ribbon. You can turn it on, off, whatever you want. Um, cool Hall of Fame Celebrity Ring 3. I don't know what that is, but that's pretty neat. I guess just if you're like walking out and being a celebrity. Um, easy creation just gives you all the superstars and then some other ones that you see here. Uh, Breezango, Brian Pillman 1 and 2, Bushwhackers, Cactus Jack, Charlotte, Chris Jericho, Dana Brooke. So that's it. They don't really show off too much on that. And here's create a victory, which is something that's been much needed because every time you win a match, it would always be the same generic thing. But now we don't have that anymore. We have create a victory where you got face and heel as well. So if you're a bad guy and you want to be like, ah, screw you. I'm um, showing off this. This is just some of the superstars you have. Uh, show off there. Create a victory. So now after you win a match, you don't just raise your hands up. Create a championship is back. Yes, it is. Here it is. Uh, I'm showing off some of the designs. I like that one. It's covered up, though. The heart. That and that. Um, any new ones? I don't think I really see any new ones. I mean, that one. Here's some patterns. Snake skin. All that stuff. I don't know why anybody would use any of this for their straps. I just don't get it. But that's all right. And here's the side parts. So we have the WWE logos, the plates. The, the, they look to be the same side parts. I don't I don't think I'm seeing any new ones. If I see any, I'll let you know. But I don't really see any new ones yet. I don't notice the new ones. Because I spent forever creating a championship. And I don't see any new ones yet. Yep, don't see them yet. But that's alright. Creating it. You can do your colors. All the fun stuff that you used to do before. And then you have create a show. So here you go. You're just editing the show. You got all these things to choose from. 2K17, Extreme Rules, Chamber, whatever. I'll probably just use 2K17 just because I think that's the transition that we're looking at. I could be wrong. There it is. Take over London. Take over Dallas. Take over Brooklyn. Payback Raw, NWO. Roadblock is there. Saturday night's main event. Love it. Don't have to upload that logo anymore. SummerSlam 88, SmackDown, SmackDown, SummerSlam, WCW, Tribute to the Troops, TLC, Survivor Series, Carnage, there it is, there's a transition, okay, so that's a little bit different than I expected, right, you choose Hell in the Cell, right, to say that we chose Hell in the Cell for our transition, they now have this, where it doesn't actually show the show name, I don't think, it just shows the WWE logo, is that the way we're going to go now? Because if so, we're going to use that. I just didn't notice that. And this is the first time I noticed it. So if they have that transition, that way you don't actually, you know, you can make it all cage pay-per-view, but you don't actually have, like, the WWE Hell and Cell logo, and you can make it whatever you want. So that's cool. That's awesome. That's great. There's all the new creation sweet stuff. You can say that this is almost too sweet. That's right. That's right. We got all this cool stuff, and I think they just drop us out with some post-roll stuff. But there you go, guys. There is what we got going on here. Creation Suite is in a lock. We got a bunch of cool new features to show off here. We'll play it back one more time just so you can see it in its entirety. Create a superstar. Cool features there. It's now white. That's the main focus here. Change it as you want. And then you got face paint. You can if you want. You got beards, hair, fun stuff. Create a moveset. Same old, same old. You got a po new taunts, new table finishers, a uh, bunch of finishers, new table stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's let it play out there. Then continuing, I've created an arena. A couple new features. This new arena is back. Uh, time of day preview. If you want to have an outdoor arena, you can change the time of day, which is cool. It's always fun to wrestle uh, right during the day when the sun's out. And then create a video is awesome. Brand new this year. Well, it's back. Edit the video, trim it down, make a Titan Tron, or make a show intro. Cool stuff. That's exactly what you want to do when you're making a 
a game. You want to be able to create an intro. You want to create a show intro. Fun stuff. Cool stuff. Create an entrance is back. You got a bunch of cool stuff here. Same old, same old. Create an entrance. Cool thing, though, is create a victory, which is fun because you don't want to do the stupid generic taunt every time you win. So you get a new victory taunt. Oh, yeah. Raising the hands. I win. King of the Castle. And then Greatest Championship is back. Uh, stuff's supposed to be more 3D now or whatever. If you put wood, it looks like wood. If you put whatever, it looks like whatever. And create a show. Awesome logos. And transition looks pretty sweet. No more showing just hell in the cell. So hopefully that's the way it is. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all the creation stuff. I appreciate you guys sticking around this far till the end of the video. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I don't know why you wouldn't want to subscribe. I'm going to try and bring more content up. And if you made it this far, thank you because I'm losing my voice. I'm running out of energy and I'm getting tired. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit that like button. If you enjoy all of this content, as always, Tony Beats Guy to sweet.